Hello, it's Michael with Torch Chief Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating this damage counter that appears above an object. Please make sure you hit the like button to get those YouTube algorithms pointing this up to a lot more people. So what I'm going to do is let's right click and create a new blueprint class. And from here, I'm going to create an actor. Let's just call this text underscore damage. This is what our text from our damage will come from. For now, I'm just going to use this cube and I'm going to go blueprints up the top here, convert selected actor to blueprint class. And I'm just going to dump it in the same spot we're sitting down here. And we will call this object to damage and create blueprint class. From here, what I'm going to do is go into the event graph and let's just delete everything. I'm going to select the static mesh component, come down here on the right hand side to on component hit. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first check that it's being hit by a projectile. So let's expa expand this out to a branch and then other component get display name from here i'm going to make sure that it contains a string just give it a little bit more room and i want it to contain first person projectile and where did i get that from this is the object that is spawned when we press the trigger button so from here what i want to do is as soon as it's hit what i need it to do is to spawn an object sorry spawn actor from class and this will be our text damage object that's what we want to spawn but now we actually need to put where do we want to spawn it that's fine we want to spawn it where the object is being hit so let's grab this get world location and let's come over into here and let's split pin structure so now we've got the location rotation and scale and this is our location vector and what we want to do is when we want when it spawns we want it to be facing the player so let's right click get player pawn and get actor rotation and then we can throw that in there now we will come back to this because there's a little bit of settings we need to change but for now let's continue on let's compile that and let's now go open up our text damage so from here i'm going to add a component and we're going to add in a text renderer and since i've already done this before i know that this is going to be facing the wrong way so what we could do is set the rotation to 180 degrees flip it around and from here i want it to be horizontally in the center so it aligns in the center of the object as it appears let's go into the graph editor and let's delete these two and on event begin play so as soon as it's spawned what's it going to do well first off it's going to need an add a timeline i'm just going to press enter on that so i want an action to appear so it starts from one place and then moves up so let's now select the clock we want to add in a float let's change the length to about 0.5 seconds right click add a keyframe let's go zero zero and to the end here we'll add in another keyframe let's go 0.5 seconds so it's right on the end and a value of about two now if i press select the first keyframe and press a it auto scales the screen so we can see how it all looks let's hit compile there an event graph now i want it to happen from the start so play from start from here what we want to do is we want to be able to update the location of the text so let's go add relative location text render and what i want to do is update that and we only want to affect the z axis so i can right click on this and split pin structure and go from new track to here so this new track is obviously this here where we can rename it float up if you really want to be pedantic so it goes float up and then once it's finished we want to destroy actor so let's now just go compile and play and if we walk over we start shooting you can see that it is appearing however it's appearing too low so if we come back into our object to damage and i'm just going to move this down a little bit let's go press the plus sign and vector plus a vector and we'll plug that in here and so we want the text to spawn that little bit higher so it's more at the top so if we go about 150 compile play we can see that when we hit it it's now spawning above and there we have it if you have any questions or have any suggestions please leave a comment below and let me know once again please hit the subscribe button it really helps me out and hopefully i can get to that 10,000 mark sooner than later and if there's anything else you would like to know please let me know in the comments below